A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space with first contact made in nation's capital. Our reporter Ella is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Ella? Hi. Reporting live from Lampman Cave. As you can see there, the panic and terror in the streets of New as New Zealanders have awoken to find Cape find the space invaders capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm and harm to the public is very real. And Ella, are you there? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Oxy. What's happening there? Yes, well, what I can tell you is that these aliens smell awful. They smell like a mix of uh, swamp water and divorced fathers. Um, looks like they're about to communicate to us through a special transmission device. Superior beings of planet Namek from the galaxy of the All Blue. We have some demands that you must give us. We want Dino Nuggies. All the milk in the world. Anime copyrights. If you do not you give not us give these us things, things, we will destroy you all with our baguettes. You have three days. Back to you in the studio. Well, the, you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement, so we cross now to parliamentary reporter Sean. Why was the camera going? It looks like <laughs> lots of crowds have gathered here, um, but I'm still, like, a, a few of them still are, like, on their way to work, and, um, I'm sure a few are quite unaware. Um, aliens have invaded. Wake up, people. Be afraid. Here comes the Prime Minister. To a person. Tēnā koutou katoa, people of New Zealand. This is your Prime Minister asking each and every one of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these space beings feel welcome. We must display all the friendly qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We will be holding a porphyry later today. Then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these alien beings will spare New Zealand from destruction and move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, that you hold your breath, <coughs> A smile and quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. The buses will still run, the trash will still be picked up, and the economy will wait for no one. That's all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now, where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss with you what you can do at home to get through this event safely. Well, I think the first thing we should do is by tricking the ugly monsters. Aliens, like them, should not be on our planet and we should destroy them. Then we'll gather all of our men and we'll kill them. No, that's completely foolish. What I think we should do is um, test them in the science lab and ask them questions and find out where they came from and are they gonna hurt us? You two dim-witted idiots are both wrong. <clears throat> we should be finding peace and being friendly. Violence is never the answer. And your ideas are both stupid. <clears throat> Yeah.
stop. Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Arabella. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there's an outrage as the aliens try to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lounge where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury where aliens have formed a very strange relationship with the region's cow community. And in Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to go hide in my basement. Back to you, Arabella and Daniel. Finally, we interview someone who claims they have had a close encounter with creatures from outer space. Our reporter, Aaron, is with that person now. Hi, I'm Aaron and today I'm with George, who says that he was once subjected by aliens. So George, do you mind me asking, I mean, do you uh, mind me asking you some questions? Yes. Okay, so you say that you were abducted by aliens, so how was the experience? It was fine. Um, yeah, they took a couple of samples and spun me around the galaxy for a little bit, asked me questions and yeah, that was it. So you say that you went into the spaceship. How was it? It looked like a lemon. Then I told them that. And then they said our lemons look like spaceships. So I said their spaceships look like lemons. And then we kind of argued. And then it got kind of confusing. And then we finally like settled on that their spaceships look like lemons. And our lemons look like lemons. So it was all sorted out in the end. So you say that you have seen the aliens. How do they look like? The purple blobs of jelly and with eyes sticking out the top. Okay, so by your experience, how do you think we can stop these aliens? We don't. We just run and hide in a basement somewhere and cry for mercy. Thank you, George, for your time. Back to the studio. Thanks, George. Well, I'm going to go run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many dollars as I can until I'm sick or the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as that happens. Goodbye everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha. We'll see you tomorrow, if there is one.